This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we we'll bring you the biggest entertainment stories and very interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, or let me repeat, my interesting co-anchors, so they won't come for me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshoke. Exciting. Oh, you want exciting? You're not even sounding exciting, so why are you fighting exciting. for exciting? <laughs> Sound exciting, then maybe I want to use that for you. Hey, hey I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Well, Bless you. Mm. How are you? Where is our. Ah, it was too hot, please. Ah. <laughs> it was too hot. It's, it's still too it's hot. It's still right? very hot. I don't oh, know what is happening. Crazy. We need to go ask for forgiveness if we've offended someone in this Lagos. No, yeah, I, I think, think it's usually like this. Yeah. Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> you, you people are never tired of repeating the same thing in every year. Maybe. Well, if someone has offended, they've moved her far to Nigeria. Like, Shame. this is the season. Create, or, create, create a new one for us to follow. I'll think oh, has anyone Center. ever said that, that they moved her far to Nigeria? Is this the first time you're hearing that? Mm -hmm. It's not the first great. time. But there's nothing new under the sun, though. Mm -hmm. exactly. hard on ourselves. Mm. It gets me. <laughs> All right, please, let's get right into it. Netflix now has a presence in Nigeria. I think that's the best way to say this. The verified Twitter handle shared a Netflix customized photo, which featured the likes of Moabudu, Adesua, Itobi, Kate Henshaw, Bankali, Wellington, Richard, Mufed, Damijo, Kunle Afalaya, Omone Bully, and a few other key players in the industry, with the caption, N is for Ninja. N is for Nollywood, N is the 14th alphabet, 14 is also how many great talents you're looking at, N is for Netflix, but most importantly, hello Nigeria, end of quotes. The question now is, what does this mean for Nollywood? Mm. Mm. I'm not really excited about this. Why not? Either. Yeah, because um, even right now, on the regular Netflix platform, you see a lot of, um, what's it called now? watered down movies being on netflix and you're wondering how did they even get on netflix in the first place so now that we have netflix for nigeria i'm wondering the type of movies that we even get on there because i don't want something i i need people to tell our stories the right way our mm. narratives the right way and not because okay it's now netflix nigeria will now start seeing some type of movies and all of, no i just hope they're going to do this right but the moment is that i'm just going to Unsubscribe from uh, 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 my next. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Um, um, my please um, uh, go ahead. We both said it with disagreeing, but I, not that reason. Not that but, deep, no, right? Um, no, I think I, I feel like me. I would trust um, Netflix of all people mm -hmm. to be able to do that right. Um, they have enough resources. Um, they cater for everyone. Just because something doesn't favor you doesn't actually mean that it's a bad mm. movie. But for me, the reason why I'm not as excited is just because I know that this is going to be a big threat to the African Nigerian owned um, streams that we have. I'm just a bit of, I'm just a bit sick of, you know, Western, um, well, I say businesses coming and thriving here. There's nothing wrong and you know, we benefit and blah, blah, blah. But if there isn't that much balance, you know, then how we ever become America where we're also bringing our stuff to them, you know? Mm. Um, that's the only thing that I don't like, but that's a deeper problem. And life must go on if, not, if Africans refuse to step up to that platform. Um, so away from that, it's a good, fantastic um, collaboration. I thinks, I w sorry, go on. Yeah, and everybody thinks this is a good... I like the angle you came from because we have all the platforms such as um, Roku TV. Mm. Um, Danny. In Danny and all of that, that people actually get to stream from. But this um, Westerners, let me put it like that, now come into our country and they just want to take over the business of people that. So I think um, there's a saying that um, sell Nigeria. Grow the Naira, right? But for me, they're coming in. I mean, from what I I'm understand, it's well, actually to invest well. in yeah. the industry and yeah. also tell our own story. So yeah. instead of just buying, no, no, instead of just yeah, buying you know content, no, let me explain. So instead of just buying this, but well, Netflix, co Netflix content yeah. like Lion Hearts and the likes, they will now commission. Do you think projects. anybody in America yeah. would subscribe to Netflix Nigeria? Hold on, is there like a different subscription yeah. to say it has to be Netflix Nigeria? Yes, I'm to one Netflix. 
So there's Netflix. Do you think that they're bringing Netflix Nigeria? No, app? it's still it's Netflix. Netflix. It's you still subscribe still to one Netflix, Netflix and you decide what you want Netflix. to watch. Yeah. What, what, yeah. What, just search what, the content. What, what is happening think, is that I think it's okay to just have Nigerian movies on Netflix. That's good enough. No, this just means that they're, they're bringing investments. Yes, to, so now there'll be Netflix Let's originals. See, you know how we have. Okay, so just, you know the way they collaborated with um, what's the name of this guy we're always talking about now? Oprah's best friend. Yeah. To shoot um, the movie, yeah, where all that's what that that's, that's what, what they want yeah. to do with Nollywood. So producers. the only issue, the only issue I'm saying I have is because they they will not start to own our movies, but we are not. It's not like as if no, this well, is like this is like so exactly. It's not it. like this is like bad colonization yeah. where they are stealing from us. We're also benefiting from that. I'm just saying from an Afrocentric perspective, well, you know we should be able to like. They're going course, to be getting more. I mean, course. if you invest in a business with your you money, you should get more. But that doesn't mean. It's, I don't I, think we I should just, blame just, them just, yeah, it's not a, I'm, I'm no. not blaming them. I'm just saying that I'm not excited okay. about it. Right. So maybe people, and I would, the key I think players... I would also like industry. to know what this partnership yeah. actually yeah, looks like. So maybe I, for you, my could actually be wrong. Yeah, we'll find, find out. out. But let's take um, quick reactions on social media. This one is from at Diary of a Ninja Girl. She says, Dear Netflix Ninja, I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're here to make original Netflix films that can tell our stories mm -hmm. and still be internationally acceptable. I hope you choose real creativity over mediocrity and mm -hmm. capital capitalism. I hope you've come to set a higher standard. Mm -hmm. As Ogbeni Dikpo says, Netflix is coming to Nigeria. Pressure from Disney plus Amazon Prime, Apple See Plus TV I mean? and Britbox. Will they disrupt the video on demand industry mm -hmm. in Nigeria? At that one girl, Chi Chi says, I think people overestimate what Netflix can do for a market. In my opinion, Bollywood is a better market comparison um, than South Korea. That being said, India values their creative industry. So, so when Netflix came, they met infrastructure. That is not happening in Nigeria. Mm. At Enobong says, gladly, um, gladly, coming, gladly welcoming Netflix to the biggest entertainment industry in Africa, second biggest movie industry in the world, Nigeria, wow. Niger for life. Olawale says this is basically just one of those branches of multinational companies in Nigeria that makes little numbers. Besides Naira, besides, Naira is projected to lose its value. CBN cannot do strong um, here forever. Okay, I didn't get that part, but they probably is target markets. Unfortunately, there are Netflix series on this site. That wasn't very clear. But at Emelogu on the Costco Eze says, this is really nice, but I really hope we get to choose who or which one we want to subscribe to. Please, we don't want any, if you live in Nigeria, you must use Netflix Niger situation or that, or that thing you do you see, you where the algorithm tailors movies according to the region. I get what you're saying. I think I understand the algorithm tailoring mm. movies, but I don't think there is an app for I Netflix. Yeah. There, will be there isn't. There, there isn't. isn't. That's not what's happening. That's not what's happening. People are getting it mixed up. <laughs> that <Yeah>. what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Yana yeah. says, now that Netflix has finally set up shop in Nigeria, do, I do hope they have plans to buy rights to old Nollywood movies because I really Why? think that'd be great content offering plus faster way to um, user acquisition. I think I'll be looking forward to that one um, now. So um, at last at Los Giddy says, the funny thing is that the only people that watch Nigerian movies on Netflix are those in the diaspora that miss home. Nigeria doesn't want this. Huh. Do you believe yourself. that? Speak <laughs> Do you speak for yourself? Then I think this is the last one we can take. Chant Z Efia. He says, they got Netflix in Nigeria now. Ghana, look at your younger brother, man. Have, <laughs> have shame. Okay, nice that's like that. a shade. Yeah. Okay, so um, I think the... Um, the people I resonate with most in this one is um, called Benny Dikbo and um, the Diary of the Niger Girl. Because they said um, everything I said, like, I hope they're just going to keep to the standard. some of the things you said. Hmm? It says some of the things you Most said, of the, That's what I said, most. I, did, did I say... Many, so? few, some, <laughs> all. Okay. You okay. should get it. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I'm on? just saying, um, I just hope they will keep to the standard and they won't be seen. Is that a standard? Yes. Huh? Let's say, let's hope they will bring a standard, mm. a better standard. Please, yeah. I, I don't know where the standard is right now. LCB, no, we, 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 we have we have good standard. Oh, we have good movies. Mm. We definitely do have good movies that mm. do not make it to Netflix. And then you go on Netflix and you see some very very funny movies, and you're wondering how. Like the ghost stand it out. <laughs> okay. Like that was a we've waste got, of an hour thirty minutes. Not shade to Toyo Abraham, but that was a terrible movie, ma'am. 
<clears throat> We've got veteran Nollywood film producer Kunle Afolayan on the phone to speak on this um, new development. Okay, so hello, Mr. Afolayan. Thank you for your time. What does this partnership mean for Nollywood? Well, for me, I think it's such a good development and such a good move, you know, from from you know Netflix uh, because um, now they are. One thing they I think they've done, which is great, is giving people that sense of, you know, belonging. Um, yes, they are here to, they want to buy content and all of that, but uh, they don't just want to buy content and they don't want to impose their own ideas and story. They are trying to now, you know, play with people and, um, you know, welcome, you know, original ideas. Um, more so in the past, what they've always done is just acquire content. But now, I think they want to be doing original, like Netflix original, uh, like they've done in other countries and other part of the world. Uh, I think South Africa is uh, they just did one in South Africa uh, with Queen Sono, and um, I think the, yesterday they announced the first Nigeria original, which. Uh, you know, I'm very excited about, and it's going to be, you know, the show will be run and directed by Akio Motosho, who is, of course, um, a friend of mine. Um, but beyond that, it met with a lot of industry people and stakeholders. Uh, they're looking at, the, the, you know, a way to also better um, the platform. So, um, but the fact that they came here, they brought their top people, and they've been coming, like, you know, Regularly, I think that is really that is really good. Okay, that's great. But this announcement has generated conversations on social media. One of the concerns raised is the structure of Nollywood and its readiness for this type of partnership. Um, do you think Nollywood is ready for this? I don't know what everybody, why anybody should have problem with the, with good development. If you are in this industry, then you understand the pain. Uh, an average filmmaker goes through, you know, when it comes to distributing content. Um, a lot of people compromise on quality because, you know, they can't just invest so much when they, you don't, you only have maybe cinema as your distribution platform. And um, after cinema, where else do you go? You know, you can't do DVD because they get pirated the same day. You can't go on YouTube because they get pirated the same day. You know, but with Netflix, they, I mean, at least some sort of revenue is guaranteed. And more so, it gives the content, you know, <laughs> um, um, you know, huge exposure, you know, depending on what rights, you know, you're selling to them. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I am more than 100% excited, Seth. Maybe it's because me, I always work, you know, and, um, you know, it just gives me some, such, some sort of uh, um, assurance that if I invest in something, I, that there's uh, an opportunity for me to recoup my mama. Thank you so much for your time. I think I'm also looking forward to the partnership they will have with someone like Kulia Flyer. Mm -hmm. Because exactly. he's been dishing yeah. out great content you know for Kunle yeah. Afolayo, i totally agree because Kunle Afolayo has great movies and um he puts in a lot of money a lot of investors also mm -hmm. invest in his movies and all of that so it's good so, that it's generating opportunities yeah, That's so it's a generating opportunities and he also mentioned like, that there was an announcement yesterday um a commission project yeah. that's going to be directed by Akio Motosho. that's yeah. one of um the top directors mm. and producers in Nigeria as well. So we look forward to that as yeah. well. Yeah. So um, we should get more directors and movie producers like um, Kunle Afolaya to be on Netflix Nigeria. Yeah, he's already part of the process. Yeah, I know, so, I know. Yeah. Like, I'm just saying that, not just those I mean, there's 14 ones, of them. You already saw the picture. Money, so there's a good, there's, yeah, a, there's, there's a, a lot good, of them. Yeah. Yeah. But I know people okay. are still asking, the where's Joke Silva and Olu Jacob? She's not, they don't produce. They don't produce. Yeah, and they don't, I think yeah. this is about those that actually, well, I don't well, know. Well, Genevieve we produces, saw, but she wasn't on there. They can't have everybody to be sincere, mm. you know, so. Let's just hope that Are this is sure good Are you sure there's no politics news. going on? Or tribalism? Mm.